Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 9 walkthrough on Sniper Elite V2 where we find 10 of 10 gold and 3 of 3 bottles. Alright, so here we are at the beginning. As always, we've got the baddies cleared out for the majority of the level and we are at the one. But, again, I won't mention any names, Corey. But Corey again helping me out while I edited video 8. He was trying to do the clear out and get everybody cleared out on 9. And he accidentally stumbled across the 6th bar on this level. So we will be a bar ahead for the video until we get to the 6th bar. So here we are, count them number 2, even though the video shows 3. So I apologize for that, but there's not much you can do in a situation like this. We have come up with a method to prevent this, but we weren't able to initiate that method today, so we'll see if we can work on that for future gameplay. So after the second one, we're going to cut across here and up on this mound of dirt. We're going to go ahead and grab the third bar. And then we're going to head on over to that lovely old church on now. And here in the main room of the church on the left hand side behind the first tipped over bench. I guess it's not really tipped over, it's just kind of pushed out of place. You will see the fourth gold bar. Again, for those following along, apologize. We are one bar off, but we will be catching up here after one more bar. So, climb to the top of the church tower here by mantling or climbing that uh, two steps there I guess they're not steps they're more of mounting areas <laughs> <laughs> all right quick peep of the map and we're gonna drop back down and then head back out the way we came in the church not to be confused with the back door I know some of you are you know back door prefers but uh, we won't get into too much detail. Now once you crawl on your belly, you're going to go and head straight and take the first right. And then we're going to stay left from here out. We go left again, but we're going to slow it down and we're going to pop a bottle. It's the first of three on this level. Once we pop that bottle, we're going to progress through this next level. And right here under the desk is bar number six for the level, or 86 for those following along in the game. So we are now current on the bar count. And the next bar will register 87, I promise. And we're going to head to it right now. We're also going to take out a bottle while we do so. So basically turn all the way back, run back in a straight line. Take a right, and then a left, and then a right. And one more little left, and there you'll see that gold bar flashing. Chances are, and you're wandering around, you probably stumbled right across that guy. But chances are, you didn't take the time to spot this bottle way off in the distance up in the church window. But in the uh, in, in all reality, let's keep it real. There's a sniper to the window to the left in the story. So if you didn't get that bottle, it's probably been a rough journey collecting all these bottles. So after a small bit of confusion here, we're going to turn and burn and head straight up and go right back to gold bar number 88. All right, and we did speed this up quite a bit. You probably could go and crawl through that right side or be a, the quickest route there. If you haven't killed all the bad guys yet, uh, beware. This area is normally filled with bad guys, so be prepared for a pretty decent fight. And now that we've got the train, we're going to slow it down. So you've got your main guy in there. So as soon as you kill the point of interest in there, it triggers a cutscene and you will run out of time. So do not kill that guy. Hopefully you watched this in time and didn't do that because you're going to have to go all the way back through it. I chose to sneak by him 
and head all the way down to the end of these trains. And at the end of the trains, you will see gold bar number nine. Then we're going to turn around and pop bottle number three. And truth be told, there was a death that happened. I normally don't edit out deaths, but what ended up happening was the video was tremendously long because I literally made it to like one of the last two guys you have to fight off and the rocket was ready to take off and then I died and we had to go all the way back through and do the whole scene again. So unfortunately there was a really cool glitch too that I may even post in another video because it's happened a couple times now. But you will actually get to see the aftermath. You won't get to see me playing around and, and, and doing what I was doing. But you'll get to see it, no doubt. But the last gold bar is right here. So that's going to bring us to 90 gold bars. Ten more, peeps. Can you believe that? It's been a long journey. Glad I had you friends along with me. Oh, yeah. All right. So here's where the fun begins. Tell me. Let's see if you guys can find my edit. It's not too hard. It's it's I mean it's I'm not like some super awesome, you know, movie star editor or anything of any sorts, but let's see if you guys can if you guys can find my edit, mark the time and put it down and we'll see. We'll see who gets first. There's no prize other than just you're awesome and we'll go ahead and mention you in another video at some point. But uh, yeah. Just curious to see if anyone can see my edit. It may have already happened. We're going to go back and forth and back and forth. There's probably going to be a pretty obvious component coming up. I won't mention what it is, but anyways. All right, so the goal here, as everyone probably knows, you got to fight these guys off. Well, that rocket in the back slowly lifts up. You must have some pretty weak pornography to be flowing at such a slow grow rate. I'm trying to distract you with witty banter so you don't notice my horrible sniping. Well, no, I'm not that great at this game. I still shoot and compensate for bullet drop and and, uh, you know, leading the guys, but it just doesn't seem to work out. This easy mode has just ruined me as a sniper. So we'll continue to fight off these baddies. And look, look at that rocket in the back. It's just barely making its way up. Ooh, barely making it up. But, uh, so anyways. Guys, uh, level nine. There's only one more level left. It's crazy. What are we going to do when this game's over? Oh, that's right. I myself am moving to Starhawk. What are you guys going to be playing? Some pretty good games coming out this month. Max Payne 3. We got Ghost Recon Future Soldier. There's a, another Dirt race game. I don't remember what Dirt 3 uh, Super Off-Road or something. I don't remember what the name it is, but definitely a new race game. Have you found my edit yet? Or have we even been there yet? Who knows? But now that once once the rocket gets totally uh, upright. Oh yeah, here's the glitch. If you notice, there's a guy to my right. He's just standing there. I've actually walked up behind him and stealth killed him. But he's standing up straight. And he's just a ghost. Like, you can walk through him and all sorts of stuff. So I was standing in him, like, camouflaging out and stuff. It's kind of funny. I was going to say some funny things, but I'm not that funny. And it didn't work out. Anyway, so. All right. So now that the rocket... Is about ready to take off. We're gonna blast it and prevent that from happening. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to wrap up this mission's walkthrough. Pretty quick mission, really. Video was almost as long as most of the other walkthroughs. Uh, however, the mission itself was actually pretty short. So, as you can see there, three of three bottles and ten of ten gold. So, that's going to wrap up Sniper Elite V2 Level 9 Walkthrough. Feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. If you haven't made it on over to Twitter and click that follow button, I'm sure you're getting tired of hearing me say it. Just do it already. Come on. All right. And as always, until next time.